it's, right? Okay. So anyway, okay. So or you're just challenged for that's time. That's okay. We're it's making okay. it easy for you. So okay. So look, we're gonna cut the outside. We do it this way. Okay. So then that's your uh, that's the bigger portion. Then when you flip it over, that's the smaller side, and that's gonna be your top. Oh, so I that's see. the bottom. That's the top. So then when you cut them, it's really that easy. And then you'll just keep going down the line. And we already started our new ones. I did two chicken mm. in here, but see, beef chicken it never goes to waste. Just throw your favorite vegetables in there, and you've got a, a pot pie easy oh the pot pies in the store we don't know what they've put in there we don't know what preservatives we put they put in there what type of vegetables they've right. used um any of that sort of thing so when you're using this and you mentioned a great point gluten-free my husband's yeah. gluten-free i can go ahead and make him a gluten-free pie crust as opposed to you know he can't eat regularly this anywhere right. so if you go to the store and try to buy a gluten-free pot pie they sell them they are through the, the roof, roof astronomically priced it's kind of like i feel like they're everyone's taking advantage of that now like it's the hot word absolutely <laughs> so you end up paying pay more premium. money exactly so if you can make them at home you're always always going to save yourself money, but you're also going to save yourself, you know, from putting things in your body that you don't know what they are. Or you can't pronounce them. Right. Now, here's where we have a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. So here's breakfast. So this one, let's go. We got egg and bacon and that one. Let's come over here. Oh my gosh, they're so yummy, 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 yummy. So here we've got egg and we've done bacon mm -hmm. inside of there. Can I try breakfast? one? It's so absolutely. Let's okay. go. I, like, I like, like me some bacon. <laughs> so I'm going to go here. But you know, another thing I was thinking of, what if, could I do tortillas? And then put yes. a tortilla in there with a well, little... Well, you could do a tortilla, and what's going to happen is it's just going to brown it. I so like it, it. Yeah, right. exactly. And then so you could put some hamburger meat in there, some cheese, a little sour cream, and close it up. Yeah. That would be awesome. You could totally do that. And what's going to happen when it's a puff pastry is it's going to puff up. But if it's something that doesn't just understand, it's, it's going to be gonna flat. Warm it. It's right. just going to warm it. Correct. That's okay. So as long as you understand what you're using and what you're making there, you're good to go. Now, when we started these, we just went ahead and put some bacon. You could put sausage in here. You can put whatever you want, but here I'm oh, going to fill really it with egg. Good. Now, if I wanted, I can do this quiche style. We were talking quiche and mm. leave these open. Or if you do open face, it's going to take you approximately like two to three extra minutes to right. cook the top. But if you're going to close them, which is what I'm going to do and make a breakfast sandwich out of it, then it's going to be about that seven minutes or so that we were talking about. Mm. So I'm going to go ahead and close it again. It locks at the front. We're going to come back. So there's breakfast. So you're able to use it that way. Then we're going to oh come gosh, over that's here. so good. And here's where we got real creative on these ones. Look this how is, it browns it so evenly. Again, cooking from top and bottom, you want to make sure that you fill them. I love giving tips with these. Fill them to the top. Okay. Because if you fill them too low, then you got to make sure you see how it indents at the top here. Right. So we want to make sure we get them nice and full. And then that's how they're going to get nice and um, Now, how long do you say it takes so approximately? It depends on what you're putting in here. If you're doing a typical pie, it's about seven minutes. I okay. notice sometimes when I do some of my savories or things that just might need an extra moment, I'll kind of leave it an extra minute. Okay. Um, but you can but kind of look. seven minutes. Now, do I need minutes. to spray it with oil or you anything? You do not. You do not. Because it is nonstick, you are good to go. Here, we're going to go ahead and start making our pizzas but let me go ahead and cut into what I took out first because oh. I want to show you okay do you know how we buy in the store those pockety things yes. okay right right okay and they have tons of preservatives okay these are delicious I'm gonna try you can that. use your own fresh cheese you can use all your own like meats so I you know we use pepperoni in this one so oh if you wanted God. to put some like a little sausage a little pepperoni mm. whatever your favorites are to have in a pizza well, it's almost like a little mini calzone totally like a little exactly mini right. calzone and I love Italian food so and think about the kids best. coming home from school kids are going to start going back to school yep and what are they eating when they come home are they putting something in the microwave I mean this is easy for the kids to do it's fun you plug it in one touch you close it and plug it in, you're done. There are no buttons, there's nothing complicated, no LED readout, nothing is complicated oh, whatsoever. Perfect. You have seen dessert, you have seen dinner, you could do lunch, you could do little appetizers, you're entertaining in the holiday season that is still to come. Hanukkah, Christmas, Thanksgiving, all of the things. We've done spanakopitas in here, Ooh. so if you wanna do like a little bit of a spinach-like situation, then you just do that. Uh, mac sure, and cheese, sure. you could do like a lobster mac and cheese or something and Ooh. put it inside and think that. I know. I'm very excited. Did you okay. just do I'm like, Whoa, okay. okay. One thing I have to update in the red. How many now left? 800 in the red. So the red looks like it is going to sell out. Use express ordering to get yours. One more thing. I'll come over here and show you the other colors. 
We have it in the teal. Look at how beautiful this teal is. Our producer, Aaron, just ordered this as well. Oh, good. So uh, the whole crew is getting in on this value because at $19.95, <laughs> this is so versatile and it's so functional and practical and fun. The kids will love it. You will love it. And then, of course, we have black. Don't forget, in the little user manual, you do get some recipes, right? Yes, you do. And look, at, I'm very excited. This is what we started with. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, look. And it's going to bring up a good point. Okay, look. <gasps> Totally brown, totally ready to go, and I wanted to talk about something, so I'm glad it happened. Do you see how it ran over a little bit? Yes. Okay, now I want to show you, because this is non-stick, the whole thing's going to come out. Oh, and then you could just break it and off. And then you just break it right off. It just comes right off all the way around, so it's, oh, it's really hot. hot. Yeah, right. I know, so I'm like, let me be So careful. you could just wait for it to cool wait a little bit. Wait for it to bit. cool off first, unlike myself. But anyway, but you I would saw, eat it. I would well, eat the crust. Well, hello, it's really good. It's okay, good. Actually, what I make, though, that little leftover piece, I'll just like, crunch, crunch, crunch. Mm. <laughs> but look how it all came out. I want you to see that this is one we've used twice already and it's absolutely ready to go again that's how easy i don't like i will not use appliances that are too hard to clean right because if it's too hard to clean i'm never ever going to bake with it and i'm gonna go i'm just gonna keep it put away and then that's the end of that but look at this another pie that we just made guys we started at the top boom it's finished okay so here we're coming over here okay and I want to show you pot pies once more. So these are the pot pies that we just started. Oh my gosh. I mean, seven minutes to perfection. And when you think about seven minutes, think about the amount of time you're going to save Ooh. because now this is quick. It's easy. It's delicious. You're choosing your ingredients, which is a big deal because how many times Absolutely. do you go and buy those processed things? Go. You buy those, like you said, those little pockets. Yep. Do you know the preservatives that are in those pockets? Have you looked at the calorie count? Now you're controlling those ingredients. One other thing we wanted to mention are the bottles. Oh, yes. Because if you wanted to do any kind of batter or anything like that, these are available. We only have about 400 of these to go around as well. And they are how oh much, Erin? Oh, gosh. $13.95 to Look pick those happened. up. Those will quickly sell out. Now, that is the chicken Look, pot pie, That's the chicken right? pot pie. You can see the steam just rising up out of it. And when I pulled these out, you saw they had a little leftover edge. But see, the edges just come right off. Mm. It just pops right off, and you're ready to go. <laughs> so there we go. So more chicken pot pies. Let's see how we're doing over here. You know, this always reminds me of that commercial where they come out, and they've got powder oh, on. I mean, the, 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 not the powder, the uh, flour. Yeah. And they look like they've slaved all day in the kitchen trying to create something. You look like an unsung hero when you use okay. This, I mean, you serve this. Can you imagine? Can you? I mean, it's just because we think about a party or think about people right. coming over and they can each have their own little pie on their plate. How cute is that? Look the how we've done here. And, and we just, all you do is take a cutting board. That's all we did here. Put a little greens on it. You put it down the line. It's a beautiful presentation. Mm -hmm. So I've checked my eggs. I probably want to go like a minute or two more on my eggs. And the way that you'll so know. So is it okay if I open and then close? That's not ruining it's anything. It's totally not ruining it. So you just okay. want to check. So you see this one's getting there. It's starting to brown up here on the top. So I'm just going to give those maybe like one or two more minutes okay. to brown. We'll check our pizzas. We just started those, as you know. I just left here. But same thing. Oh, because you we, can see it's rise. You can like. see it's starting to rise. It's starting to come up. Within about, I'd say, two to three more minutes, those will be done. But again, we just put them in. So, That's right. But you see how fast that we went ahead and we did the pot pies and we did the other, um, what did I do, apple. Oh, I made your other pie. Let me yeah, cut where's, into that. Oh, okay. It's hey, right one here. quick thing I want to sh uh, share with you. If you're watching this presentation, you're like, oh my gosh, I don't know. Can I absorb all this? Am I going to be able to do it? When you get the manual at home, there are steps to make the pies. One, yep. two, three. Seriously, three steps. And then they're tips, but watch this. You get your pie crust, your apple pie, you get cherry cream pie, ooh, pumpkin pie. Think about Thanksgiving. So this is going to be really easy for you to be able to do. You and check out Pinterest, me. right? Yes, yes. And I just you just reminded me of something. Yes. Pumpkin pies and pecan pies, you, you can leave the top off. So don't put a top on, and you can make them perfectly finished little pumpkin pies and pecan pies. Okay, so don't put a top. Correct. And then they'll come out perfectly browned and beautiful on the top. Mm. Give them a few more extra minutes because they don't have a top. Yes. They'll take about, like I'd say, three to four more minutes in the maker. But beautiful. Beautiful. They're beautiful. I mean, for $9.98, you get this